Yo, 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 everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Man United Central. Guys, happy Saturday. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Um, we know Man United news never stops, people. Never stops. Do me a favor before we jump into it. Hit the subscribe notification bell that we do not miss any new videos that come out of this channel. And to get started, I'm your boy Luther, man. You know what? Ooh, craziness, right? Craziness. I am really boosted and proud to be a Man United fan, right? For once, we are doing the right thing. Now, I know some of you may ask, what is the right thing that we're doing? Because we never do anything right. <laughs> Right? We never do anything right. But this time it looks like we're doing something right, people. Right? And what is that? You heard. The third bit, as we reported yesterday on the video, Chelsea rejected our third bit. And we did tell them that look, this is our third and final bit. Right? So Chelsea, you know, gave us a counter bit and they probably called us a bluff. What happened? What did we do today? Today we let them know going out of the uh, the chase for Mount, which is the right thing. Remember, guys, I did say this. Look, we should not go over 55. If Chelsea doesn't want to play ball, pull out. And it looks like oh, that's what United is doing. Or are they? Right? It could be that what United is doing here is like, look, you know what? Uh, Chelsea, I know you guys are playing hardball, but um, you know we have other targets. Who are they? Moise Caicedo. So, we came from Mount, and you guys didn't want to do uh, business with us. So, we're going to pull out and focus our uh, efforts to getting Moise Caicedo from Brighton into Man United. So, your question is, you should ask yourself, right? Uh, we are pulling out of Mason Mount bid. Mason Mount, you know, we put in 55, right? 50 plus 5. And then Chelsea counteracted with... Uh, they are 58 plus 7 uh, in add-ons, right? So, uh, you may think like um, we told Chelsea that we're pulling out. And how, are we, you think that Caicedo is a, a cheaper route? No, no, no sir, no ma'am. No, they, it's not. Caicedo is going to cost us at least 80 million. Go figure. Why, why would we pull from a uh, 50 something 60 deal to go to an 80 million deal right I'll explain right now the reason that we will go for anything like that is well one thing is this we even though we we told them that we're pulling out of the deal but we said look we're pulling out of the deal but our offer of 50 plus 5 still is still on the table so basically we're telling Chelsea like look man uh, in a couple of weeks from now if you guys change your mind you know, the deal is still on the table. And you know what? I will not be surprised if come August, <laughs> Mason Mount is still is going to be our player. Because that's that's what we do, right? Right? I, but I really like the fact that we're changing strategy. Because what happens is all these teams that we deal with, they always, whenever we go for a player, they always want to add one, quote unquote, the Manchester United price tag, right? Because we know we're terrible at dealing with the... Uh, when it comes to negotiations, they know we're terrible at negotiating in total. And we, they know that they, meaning all the teams around the world, whenever they were coming for a player, they know that we overpay. So what is happening here, it looks like Chelsea, they see, you know what? Hmm, uh, you know these United people, they're not very good. We can get more money from them, right? So they're, they're playing hardball and they see, they're trying to find a way for us to, you know, pay more. So we should, you know, in this situation, I'm glad we were sticking to our guns and saying, you know what, we're pulling out. Now, Caicedo is, uh, was, was, uh, my, was Ten Hag's plan B, right? And yes, he's priced higher, which is 80 million. But you've got to remember, guys, Caicedo had recently just signed a new contract. So basically, his contract is, he has a long-standing contract with a Brighton compared to Mason Mount. Mason Mount, his contract expires next uh, uh, next year, right? And Caicedo is younger. You gotta remember, Caicedo is younger, right? And he Caicedo had a better season than uh, Mason Mount, uh, and also younger, 
You gotta remember, Casido's younger, right? And he Casido had a better season than uh, Mason Mount. Yeah, uh, and also Casido, uh, he's basically the reason that we are we're, we're switching to that is we find it is more value for the money, right? Even though we're gonna be, if we go for him, if we pay the eighty, we know that we're getting a player that is younger one. Yes, he fits our, our uh, Ten Hag's way of playing better because he could play more defensive. He, he could advance more in attacking. So he's more versatile. And we, with him, even if we pay higher, we're playing for a player who's had a really good season, last season, and he still has a... Uh, he's, I think he has like three or four years go, to go with his contract. So it's it makes sense for us to pay more for him. But it doesn't make sense for us to pay 60 plus million for Mount, who's one older, he did not have a really good season last season. And thirdly, uh, yeah, he did not have a good season, uh, he's older, and there's no reason for us to overpay. Why? Because uh, if Chelsea decide to keep him, which I don't think they will, uh, we can go in for him next season. We can get him for free. Right and Chelsea right now they're kind of tight on the FFP situation because they need to sell. They did not bring in that much money. They spend a whole lot of money. So right now we were playing, you know, we're working a way to be like to see if um, Chelsea can bluff because Chelsea has to sell. Right? They you saw what they're doing with all these players that are going to Saudi Arabia and all these places to Man City and everywhere. Because they need to sell. They spent too much money. They didn't bring in that much, that much money. So FFP is really on their butt. They have to sell. So, which is really good. Because when you're at it, we're going to say, you know what? We're going to wait. We're going to focus on something else. Now, it could be a bluff too. Because we're trying to show Chelsea, like, you know what? Whatever you guys do, you're not going to pressure us this time. Right? I like that. Now, Caicedo. If we get him, if we're really uh, absolutely 100% pulling out of Mount Deal, Caicedo was my first choice, man. Caicedo will fit in perfectly with the United, uh, with United and Ten Hag's way of playing. You know, and he's aggressive, uh, tenacious. He can handle the ball like incredible. That is my one number one choice. But of course, Caicedo, there's a lot of um, potential uh, teams want him, so. You know, that's that's the challenge that we're going to be facing. With Mount, it was only us. I didn't see any other team wanting Mount. So Chelsea also knows that only uh, only other team that really wanted Mason Mount is us. So I don't know what game they're trying to play, but I'm glad uh, United is, you know, they're not going to be like, oh, you know, we're going to overpay like what we usually do. So that is awesome. Now, another thing is we, United is thinking about, look, uh, Kovacic uh, going to Man City. They man, they were willing to give Man City uh, Kovacic uh, for Man City for like thirty million or something like that, right? Kovacic had a better season last season than Mount. What, why is Chelsea trying to play hard, you know, for, to to give us Mount, you know, because they obviously because they think that we're gonna sit here and overpay. Ain't gonna happen, man. I love it. I love United doing the right thing. You know what? Pull up and go for next targets, right? So that's basically what we're doing. We're pulling out a mount. We're going. We're gonna focus on Caicedo, right? Uh, other news I, I see here that, of course, we you know uh, reports are uh, saying that we're gonna focus on Caicedo and also we're gonna focus on getting uh, strikers, right? Of course, we, we we've been talking about Kalamwani uh, as a potential target for Ten Hag's uh, strike force. And also, uh, Rasmus Harlan, right? Those are really the potential ones that we think that we can get. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye on this uh, space and see what happens. Other news that is pretty dope that I saw, guys, is Hi. Ten Hag is working on uh, doing uh, a boot camp type for the, all the players from Man United. The boot camp is like SAS type of boot camp. Now, with some of you, you may not know what SAS is. SAS is the British uh, Special Forces type of training where they, they, they it really immerse you in the military type of training because Ten Hag wants his players physically fit 
fired up, ready to go at the beginning of the season, right? Because some of them will be coming back from uh, holidays and stuff like that. So he's thinking about putting the whole team in the SAS type of training. Guys, this is like uh, special forces here in America, SEAL team where, you know, you're running around like um, swimming, carrying like heavy stuff on your backpack, run like tough, grueling type of training to, to really, you know, get them focused, you know, get, you know, have them dig in. Because we've seen like a, a, a couple of uh, times in this uh, last season, when, when, whenever we we go like a goal down or two goals down, we give up, our heads drop. So I look, I think Tin Hag saw that and he's trying to break that, right? And how do you break it is to have them dig in, have them players learn to fight, right? You can go one goal down, two goals down, you still keep your head up and fight because you know what? Man United, we never give up. We fight till the end. And we've seen this, and you know, Alex Ferguson has shown with his team like this. And I think that's what Ten Hag is trying to do. It's exciting stuff, people. That is all I have, guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the weekend. I'll talk to you as news breaks. Thank you so much. Do me a favor as you're rolling out, hit that like, subscribe, notification bell. Thank you so much. Peace.